Welcome to day four of Advent of Code 2024. Today I solved the puzzles in about six minutes, so let's get a time lapse of me solving the puzzles. So for part one, we are given a word search, basically a grid of characters, and we have to find how many times the string Xmas, X-M-A-S, appears in the grid. Now, Xmas is allowed to appear in a variety of different directions. It can be horizontal, vertical, uh, it can also be read forwards and backwards, so which direction it exists doesn't matter. It can also be diagonal, so for example, this X at the end here, this M, this A, and this S count as a valid occurrence of Xmas, and you can imagine all the other directions that it can appear in diagonal the other way, as well as forward and back for both diagonals. So how we tackle this is using a grid and eight directions. So we read in the input as a grid, and then we generate all the directions that we could search in uh, using this loop over here, dx and dy are iterated from negative one to one, to basically just go around um, the center point to see which directions we need to search in. So that generates a list of eight different tuples. Now we need to go through every single point in the grid, see if Xmas uh, exists in a given direction, and then we'll just test all the directions. So given a direction D, which is just the tuple of uh, DX and DY, as well as the starting location IJ, we're going to check in that direction four steps to see if it actually matches Xmas. We do that with a for loop here, kx in enumerate xmas is the Python feature where k loops from 0 to 3 inclusive and x is the character that corresponds to that index in xmas. Very handy feature if you need to iterate through a string and also get the index in addition to the character. Now what we do here is compute the new coordinate which starts at ij and then goes dx dy times k where k is the index into Xmas, and we basically just check every character along that path to see if it matches Xmas. And if it doesn't at any point, then we return false. We also have to check that we stay inside the grid at all times, basically just checking that i, uh, the row, is between 0 and n, where n is the total number of rows, and j is between 0 and m, where m is the total number of columns. So if we're always inside the grid, and at no point do we deviate from the Xmas string, then we can uh, return true, saying yes, there is an occurrence of Xmas at this location and given this direction. So we just iterate through all occurrences, I mean all locations within the grid as well as all the directions, and get our tabulation of the number of Xmases in this grid. For part two, we get a clarification that we're not supposed to be looking for XMAS, we're supposed to be looking for MAS, two of them in a cross shape. How we identify these is we iterate through all of the locations in the grid yet again, but we don't need a direction anymore because these crosses are directionless. And we still have this function that checks if a uh, XMAS, an MAS cross, exists at this location. We have to make sure that the center is within the bounds of the grid. Essentially, we just need to make it a little bit tighter because the cross needs to fit within the grid, and therefore the A in the center needs to be one away from any of the edges. So we just tighten those bounds a little bit. We also need to make sure the center is indeed an A, and then we generate the diagonals. So how we do that is we look along one diagonal, which is um, this diagonal, you decrease the row by one and then decrease the column by one and increase the row by one, increase the column by one to get those two ends of the diagonal. Do the same thing for the other diagonal, but switch the minus and plus for one of the coordinates. And now you have the strings on either diagonal. We want to make sure that they're both either MS or SM because again, they are reversible. If so, then we're good. We can actually refactor this a little bit and just return uh, this value. And now we just go through all locations in the grid, use this function to see if there is an MAS cross, and that's our answer. So that's it for day four of Advent of Code 2024. I hope you enjoyed my explanations. If you want to see my code, it'll be linked to in the description below. I have a GitHub repository where I post the code to all of the puzzles in Advent of Code 2024. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you tomorrow for day five.